Moneybag Rose was at your fight versus Bosco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. It was yeah, yeah. He actually uh he he actually um he pressed Bosco. You see what I'm saying? And by asking where he was from, and he said, oh, he don't bang no more and all of that shit. So you know this internet shit. You gotta realize, man. Um, you know, Big Gene Deal, man, said this, and I, I think I will always remember this. A real motherfucker would be fake on the internet, and a fake motherfucker would be real. So, you know, and I know me and Asmo, me and Moneybag Rose, we really come from the streets. We really come from the east side. We really come from, you know, hopping them gates, running from the police. Me, I was always flocking, selling dope, you know what I'm saying, and, and you know, gang banging. You know, I didn't, that was my career, was gang banging. And as I got older, you know, my kids going to college and say, I got a, I got a daughter in college. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, 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 it's a direction that you got to stay focused. You know, a lot of people don't understand, bro, where I say, um, you know, we'll be out here and say, nigga, we out here until, the, until, until I die, nigga. But, you know what I'm saying? But you telling your son to go to college. You know what I'm saying? But what are you going to do when, when, when he's going to college and you dead? You know what I'm saying? So we got to be leaders, man. I think, I think all G niggas respect when I say it's not, it's not always about where you're from. It's about how you lead the people around you. Okay. Um, I, I was going to ask you about the, the, the whole money bag thing because that's like a movement that comes out the six pack. Okay. I was wondering, do you have an MB name or did you ever be, become a part of the MB movement? Man, uh, to be 100 with you, I, you got to realize I've been doing this before a lot of the homies was. You see what I'm saying? Um, shout out to the money back boys. Um, but now, nah, uh, you know, Ace, Killer, all, you know, all, all, everybody from the money bag crew, we was all, you know, doing our, before it was money bags. You know what I'm saying? We was all flocking. I, I didn't been on missions with each of the individuals that was around that time, you know. Um, but nah, I don't got no, I always been an independent. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't never been a dude that I had to, you know, I salute all the homies for sure. The money bag brand is is a million dollar brand at this point, and I gotta salute y'all. You know what I'm saying? But Nina always been a dude like I like to disappear. You see what I'm saying? My value is more higher when I'm not always around all day, every day. So, you know, I just did my own thing. Now I was I was surprised that uh, Asmo was money back rose because i was like you're an older dude you just did 18 years mm. you came home that's like a, a different generation movement mm. but he i guess embraced it as an older homie yeah yeah because some of the dudes that that started it uh like killer ace you know what i'm saying um a lot of them dudes we all grew up together you know what i'm saying except them dude well shit ace then you know he you know we all grew up together you know what i'm saying asmo just you know, he caught his bid and, and he stood on his bid. You know what I'm saying? So he kind of missed a lot of that air that way with some of his homies that, that helped start that organization, you know? Hey, I was completely unaware that DW Flame was actually fighting Asmo. I was telling somebody, no, nah, he didn't fight Asmo. He fought somebody named Moneybag Rose. <laughs> I didn't know it was the same dude. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't know Asmo was going by Moneybag Rose, but they, yeah. I finally figured it out. Okay, so let me ask you about... Uh, Cartoon and 600, they spoke to squabble in December. Who you got in that fight? Uh, you gotta understand, man. Um, I absolutely think that Cartoon, he has the potential to get out there and, and perform. But I would also have to take into consideration that I seen a chip challenge he did where he ate a chip and he looked like his heart was gonna pop. You see what I'm saying? So, I would think it would be a health issue at this point. I, I, 600 is young. He's a professional boxer. Sometimes, you know, you know. I think, I think on the streets, I think a uh, cartoon fight get out there and might be able to whoop some ass and kick some names. <laughs> you know, you gotta realize he come from that old school time where you know what I'm saying where a nigga name was, you know, the names was different like Chicken Tommy and all that type of shit. So you know, he, he got some street experience. Um, 600 has professional boxer experience. Um, I think it'll be a good fight, but uh, I wouldn't pick none. I, I don't even think that's a, a, you know, a fair fight, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you know, we talking about an OG street dude that probably didn't knocked out a lot of niggas in the penitentiary, and we talking about a hood dude that come up out the streets that took his, his street knowledge and, and became a professional boxer, you know? So, you know, I, I'm not gonna call that one. I'm just not gonna call that one. And, and they both huge. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. They both three hundred and something pounds each. Hell yeah, I I wouldn't <laughs> fight neither one of them niggas on a on a on a one on one. Bow, bow. <laughs> I'm not a big dude, but I got a big heart, and I would never let somebody that size put their fucking hands on me. And you, I don't give a fuck who it is. Shout out to my nigga six hundred. You know what I'm saying? That's my boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with cartoon, but I would never let no big dude like that put his hands on me for number one. And number two, I gotta make a demonstration mark. I'm not nothing to play with, nigga. I will put some hoes in your body. So. <laughs> I just think them dudes is some big dudes. I don't think them dudes don't have no problem. Them dudes don't dudes like that don't fight all the time. Cause the size. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna run up on, on cartoon or run up on six hundred. I don't you 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 better be willing to knock them dudes down. Cause if they grab you in a headlock, nigga, and start punching your head in, it's gonna be a mashed potato by the time you get done with you.